to introduce some important items in B. Braun's combined spinal epidural kit. First is the Aspican epidural needle. An important feature of this needle is that it has a back eye on the dorsal side of the distal tip of the needle, through which the spinal needle exits to puncture the dura mater. On the ventral side, the distal tip curves upwards and has an opening through which the epidural catheter is passed. The next item is the Pencan pencil point spinal needle. This needle has a white colored sleeve to minimize free play as it is passed through the Espican epidural needle. The most important item in this kit is the Perifix FX catheter. What makes the Perifix FX catheter unique is that it's a soft catheter with a very thin wall made from soft polyamide nylon and reinforced with a coiled wire. The catheter has a threading guide that inserts itself into the hub of the epidural needle to assist with threading of the catheter. And if you look closely at the distal portion of the catheter, you'll see that the wire is loosely coiled to make the catheter tip particularly flexible and atraumatic. All of this makes for an extremely soft tip catheter, which thereby allows for a very easy insertion through the epidural needle and into the epidural space. This also minimizes intravascular cannulation and paresthesias. And of course, it is a multi-orifice catheter, which means it has three ejection ports towards the distal portion of the catheter with a soft tip cap on the end. Now, let's move on to the procedure itself. As you can see, the skin has been disinfected. The lumbar interspace has been identified and has been anesthetized with a local anesthetic. Now, we'll go ahead with insertion of the Espican epidural needle, which, after passage through the skin and underlying tissue, is seated in the interspinous ligamentous tissue. Then the loss of resistance syringe is attached. We'll slowly advance the needle until we achieve a loss of resistance, which signifies that the tip of the needle is in the epidural space. You'll notice that we're making slow advances. We want to be very careful. There are centimeter markings along the side of the needle to help us gauge how far the needle has been inserted. As you can tell, there was a loss of resistance right there, which is exactly what we want. Now, we're going to insert the Pencan spinal needle through the epidural needle and puncture the dura. And if you take a closer look, you'll see CSF coming out of the hub of the spinal needle, signifying that the spinal needle has punctured the dura and that its tip is in the intrathecal space. Now we're going to inject the spinal anesthetic. Once the spinal is injected, we take the spinal needle out and proceed with threading of the epidural catheter. We use the threading device, which will sit right here in the hub of the epidural needle. The catheter has markings. The double mark signifies 10 centimeters of catheter length, and the triple mark signifies 15 centimeters of catheter length. As you can see, the catheter inserts very easily. Now we're going to just slip the needle out while leaving the catheter in. The catheter is now in the epidural space and the patient has received her spinal anesthetic. The Perifix catheter connector that is attached to the end of the catheter is now snapped into place. 
You have to make sure that when you advance the catheter into the catheter connector, you advance the catheter all the way to the connector hub, which is approximately three centimeters, to avoid catheter occlusion. And you confirm the proper connection by tugging on the catheter to ensure that it is held in place. All that's left now is to tape the catheter to the back of the patient. We use benzoin to make sure that the tegaderm stays on well. We add protective pieces of tape all around the tegaderm and over the catheter as it runs up the patient's back. And that's the combined spinal epidural procedure using the B-Brawn combined spinal epidural kit that contains the Espican epidural needle, the Pencan spinal needle, and the B-Brawn Perifix FX catheter.